my name is Amber and happy, happy new year. I hope you're enjoying a wonderful day. Welcome to my Finish 7 by Spring intro. This is a project pan challenge created by the beautiful Paige or Thrifty Beauty. So go on and check my description box below. I will include a link to her channel. Come on in and jump on these project pan challenges. They are awesome. If you are you know, just overwhelmed by your makeup or you're new to the whole project panning phenomenon. These are excellent ways to get some money out of your makeup, have fun in the process, and make some new friends. So, on that note, if you are new to the whole project panning community, you're wondering what it is, you're curious, or you're jumping in because of Pan That Palette, thank you. P.S. And by the way, thank you to all of you who are participating in the challenge this year. I really greatly appreciate it, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Go on and also check my description box below because I have included my video for Project Painting 101. Gives you a rundown on Project Pan, ways to stay motivated, and tips for when you might get stuck. So just kind of my little quip there because I know a lot of you are very new to Project Panning and you're like, what is this? I don't understand this. How do I do it? Go check that video. It'll give you the whole 411 on that. So... Um, in any case, back to the challenge. Paige created this challenge to end March 20th. I believe it's the first day of spring. So you choose seven items out of your collection. You come on here, show us your progress each month with a video, Instagram, a blog post, something to kind of hold yourself accountable and then um, where we can check it out too because guess what? We inspire each other getting through our makeup. So it's amazing. Um, I wanted to pick seven things that I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish before March 20th because I need a little bit of momentum right now. I didn't finish everything with Finish Six by Christmas, so I picked some some gimmies this, <laughs> this go around. Um, and then I'm also going to be participating in Megan um, or Meg's Makeup Eights Challenge, the Finish Five by Cinco de Mayo. So, whoo, a lot to say there, isn't there? So um, let's go on and get started with the way I would put things on my face because once again, I did choose all makeup because I personally find that really entertaining to watch and very motivating for me when I see you um, choose makeup from your collection. So the first one that I chose to get through is my um, shade that I used to fill on my brows. It's from the Too Faced Naked Eyes palette. Um, I was panning this right along with my Naked palette last year when I finished it. Oh my gosh, can you believe, I already believe last year. It just sounds so foreign to me. Um, but I figured this go around, I'm going to go on and finish like a virgin. There's not much left. It's a little too ashy for me to wear on my, on my eyes of any kind, but on my brows it has been wonderful. So I figured we'll make that the third shade done out of this palette and then I'll figure out how I'm going to continue panning it since right now I'm really focused on Lorac products. So I want to get this out of the way. I really think I can finish this before March 20th. The next thing, I hit pan this morning. Hallelujah. My fifth color tattoo to get into rotation and finish is going to be Tough as Taupe. Absolutely have fallen in love with this color. I was using it when I panned the shade Gunmetal from the Urban Decay Naked palette because Gunmetal on its own was a little too shimmery for me. And in all honesty, this very same look I'm wearing right now is exactly the same look from the Lorac Pro palette. So P.S. and by the way, the shades I used were um, taupe in my crease to kind of warm it up against that cool tone like slate. Um, in place of gunmetal, I used slate and then I highlighted with white. Um, same look as when I was using in the buff from the Too Faced Naked Eyes palette, gunmetal and um, Stila's Desert. Just, you know, more incentive to shop your stash. But I love Tough as Taupe. I'm not ready to walk away from this gunmetal y type look yet. So I figured I'd go on and pan slate first because I really love this. We're still in winter. I'm going to rock this a while longer. So I'm going to move this out. And then the next thing I wanted to pan, well, I guess I should have gone, I don't know, a little bit more in the order of my face, I suppose. But the next thing I want to pan to, towards face makeup is a tube of the Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel. It looks like so. I use this as a very inexpensive drugstore primer. Um, you find this in the very same aisle as where you find the yeast infection creams and condoms and stuff at Target. I know it's it's one of those things. Do not put yeast infection cream. This is Chub Rub cream like you use to um, 
prevent like all the chafing and stuff in the summer if your legs rub together and all that just one of those things we all use but nobody talks about let's be honest <laughs> but putting it as a face primer it is the exact same consistency as smashbox photo finish primer this is less than five dollars just saying um, I absolutely love this. This is where I am right here, right at the level of, uh, looks like the N in Monistat. But go check this out. The box has changed. It's like white and lavender, and I believe it has some light blue on it. Um, the box used to be like a dark blue. But go to Target or Walmart. Go check the yeast infection cream, like tampons and stuff. Usually this is going to be right near where they have like the... Um, azo cranberry pills that you can take for urinary tract infections and all that but look for a white a powder blue and like a lavender box chafing relief powder gel fabulous and then you save a ton of money in the process prime your face you get that matte finish that you love good to go then <clears throat> oh my gosh a lot to say today um the next thing i want to pan is another tube of the um maybelline instant age rewind eraser for dark circles and brightener um, I figured this is just going to be an easy peasy thing. I can get through this by March 20th. This is going to be like a freebie thing for me. I'm starting right here at the top. I'm going to go on and mark it after I finish filming so then I can show you exactly where I am. But this is holy grail um, for eye concealers for me. I love it. Um, it's perfect for under my glasses. It definitely takes away any shadowing so I can wear um, darker shadows like slate from the Lorac Pro or gunmetal from the Naked Palette. Easy. I don't have to think about it. Absolutely perfect to go with those pinky toned concealers for me. Then um, along with, actually I'll go on to do this too. Um, for my Lorac Pro palette, I'm going to go on and do my pan that palette updates as promised um, around the 15th of each month. So we're coming up pretty quick. Um, but I want to go on and set a goal for myself to absolutely have slate finished before March 20th. So that'll kind of give you a heads up where I am, give you a little bit of an extra update um, as far as the Lorac Pro palette is concerned, but I definitely want to have this moved out of the way before March 20th because by then I'm going to be ready to wear springy um, looking makeup. And I already have a look planned with um, deep purple, um, light pink, um, I want to say the shade, it's like the lilac -y shade from the Mega Pro palette. Um, and then I'm going to bring in like a Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadow. And I'm going to leave, I'm going to wear my Archie Veronica's Blush. I'll have a shop that stashed on that, so don't worry if you want to recreate the look. But it's, it's very similar to my Holy Grail look. So I'm going to go on and finish Slate before I move on to that. So, and then... Um, the next thing I want to finish right along with the whole slate trend, I want to go through this L'Oreal Infallible Liner in the shade Slate. It's what I have been wearing on my lower lash line. I set it with Slate. Easy, easy look. I love it. This is all I have left, which is another reason I figured I'd just go through Slate. So there's where I am with that pencil. And lastly, this is the other reason I didn't really want to move away from Slate just yet. And that is because I'm just about finished with this Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Berry Hot. This is all I have left of this particular tube. If you would like to see a Get Ready With Me for this look, go on and check the um, Get Ready With Me called Hot Gun Metal. It features this lipstick. And I figured since this is all I have left to go, I'm going to rock this slate look till it's done and be just done with it move on for a while um, if you want something more intense like the shade i'm wearing today this is the revlon color burst matte balm stain in the shade shameless love it absolutely love it middle of winter it's perfect color so that is it for my seven items all right and one last thing before we go i wanted to um go on and make another shop that stash video for you this year with the color of the year which is marsala it's like a pinky brown i did this last year i was very um pleased with it. It offered a lot of motivation for you to go into your makeup collections. And I know since a lot of you are doing makeup inventories and you're like me, you're doing a no buy. This is excellent. Um, but I have a quick question. So I filled up this entire bunt pan right here of things that you can use to shop your stash that are going to be right on trend with the whole Marsala thing. So please comment in my um, comment section below if you would like to see one whole video 
um, of all the things that you can pull out or if you would rather see me break it up and do eyes, lips, um, palettes, face products and all that sort of thing. So I'm curious um, to how you would like to see this because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And I know that you probably have quite a few options in your collection at home. So it's going to be a lot of information to absorb. <laughs> Um, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I will be having quite a bit coming your way because I have December empties. I have a finished five by Cinco de Mayo intro. I've got a wear to wait list. I've got some more get ready with me's because I had lots of requests for the, um, look that I rocked in the, um, Pan That Palette intro. So, and we have Pan That Palette intro, I mean not Pan That Palette intro, but Pan That Palette update coming around the 15th. So, Lots, 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 lots. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Thank you so much if you've decided to participate in Pan That Palette Challenge. Have fun with it. Make some friends in the process. Come on and join the bandwagon. And if you're new to the whole thing, I'll go on and put my uh, Pan That Palette intro below. It is possible to get your money out of your makeup. Last year, I finished the Naked Palette. <sighs> So um, this year is all about Lorac Pro. It's a lot of fun. And if you don't want to do the Lorac Pro, pick another palette out of your collection. But either way, it's a win-win for you. So that's it for now. And I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye.